always crank up, let the motor run, get warmed up before you get out there. We're gonna have to get the old drift sock out today, so that's all I do to get him out there. That I, I tied as a spider pattern. Uh, gave him to me, so let's make sure that that's trolling straight. See how it's floating there? Let's make sure it gets under the water. And there we go, way back there too, man. Golly, what colors of the lead core lying down? We're already on the bottom. So just be careful, uh, you know, because it is lead, there's, there's more toxic, so just, you know, Make sure you wash your hands and things before you go eating anything. We're badly hung up now, but there we go. It's a good thing I like about the 20-pound line is that even though you're badly hung up, you can pull free. Uh, we've lost the whole rig, I can tell you right now. Okay, I mean, it feels like a little guy. That was the top one. It was the top one. The one that was more of a minnow pattern. Again, it's a minnow pattern that's tipped with a black soldier. I think we're starting to find him now. Yeah, he hit the top one. He hit the top one with the fly on it. The fly with the tipped fly. Black soldier fly. It's bucktail, hackle feathers, well, you know, and some uh, uh, quill feathers. Yeah, I have to show you how to make them. I have a hackle feather here that's spun around, and there's a, you probably can't see it, but there's a uh, quill feather here along the back of it, and some uh, deer hair coming off the back, and some crystal flash coming there. You know, somebody asked what makes a, a, a fly or a lure magical, and I say tip it with a night crawler. I'm convinced that lures are just that. They lure the fish in by the action and the sound and the the vibrations and the visual it lures them in for further investigation and then when they get there it's tipped with a nice crawler on it it's nice food uh, and that's it that's sort of the fly i've been using i've been looking for a good fly to to tie i didn't copy any patterns i just looked at some feathers that a uh, lady friend of mine from church gave me some of her chickens and this is what uh this is one of them you know, it's a minnow pattern that i came up with I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's a mineral pattern, you know, a bait fish pattern that all that, you see all that flare there? That just pulsates and gives off all kinds of vibrations into the weight here. And that's coming up to this liver here. And this, the purpose of this thing is to put a little bit more scent in the water. And this guy, just get him here, hold tension, just throw him out like that. And you may not be able to see it, but it's pulsating, and it's that it has a lot of flash and flare to it. Put that guy out there as best you can, and we're gonna put about one color of lead core line out. Which in in, in situations like this, I kind of wish I had a, a side mount trolling motor. The, uh, the bottom one, the one with the cool, uh, uh, with the cool. Uh, Hackle. Yeah, I got something else on here. Yeah, okay, we got another one. <laughs> Barely could get turned around. And he took the top one. He took the top one, guys, not the bottom one. Isn't that interesting? They're just, you know, 